Archer is trying to rip the padding off the goalpost. His teammates trying to help, but Archer is a rebel with a cause right now. Chunky Monkey is wondering where the ref is as Archer continues his assault on Team Ruff's end zone. And he rips that pad clean off. Even his teammates are in disbelief. Archer, that's a penalty. Illegal use of the goalposts. Okay. There on the sidelines, Chunky Monkey doesn't seem to be quite so elated. Hey, Chunky Monkey, that's a foul for excessive slumber. Yeah, you can't nap out on the field. Save it for the locker room. Chunky Monkey's chill attitude really makes sense when you look at her wisdom panel DNA results. While Maltese are bred to be lap dogs, Chow Chows are also known for their laid back vibes. What's this? Bellamo is spinning Tank in circles. He's executing his signature swipe move, Sage. Tank better watch himself here. And Bellamo dumps Tank right into the water bowl. I don't care where you come from, that is disrespect. You can hear the rough fans are upset with the no call. And it looks like Tank is headed for the sidelines after that dominant display by Bellamo. Bellamo continues to throw his weight around. Now from the back of Ruff's end zone. But you know he's got his eye on that toy at the five. He's got a hold of it. Ruff's cold train tries to bark out the defensive alignment, but it's too little too late. Touchdown! Bellavo is into the end zone for the second time today. Bellavo, touchdown! You scored, you scored! Well done, buddy. Bellavo is practically unstoppable this afternoon. Jay sees his chance, gives it everything he's got, and heaves the ball downfield to teammate Jet. What a throw! Can Jet get it over the goal line? Yes! Field goal Jet. Well done, boy. This lab German pointer mix is a heck of a playmaker, Steve. With moves like that, Jet might just play himself out of contention for the underdog category. I see what you mean. That score tells me this pup came to play. Maisie drops back to pass. Minnie rushes in for the strip sack. She gets a piece, and she forces a fumble. That was great defense from Minnie. Minnie tries to strip the ball here and then manages to keep Maisie out of the end zone. Wait a minute, Steve. It looks like Team Ruff is challenging the ruling on the field. They're saying it's a field goal. Ah, take a look. Maisie does kick the ball here, but does it get into the end zone? From this angle, it looks like it may have crossed the plane right here. Let's take a look at it from the Chewy end zone cam. Oh, it's close, Taylor, but it definitely does not break the plane. So the ruling on the field stands, and Team Ruff is going to lose a timeout. Denozo calls out the play. Kirby takes the snap. It's a double reverse. He tiptoes down the sidelines. Touchdown. Touchdown. Kirby is out here showing this audience exactly how he made the pro. But look at this. Kirby's poised and ready to go again. He reads the defense. He runs the option with Gronchowski. Races down the sideline. Houston, we have a touchdown. Touchdown. Kirby puts Fluff back in front with a score now 28-24, Team Fluff. Downfield, Kirby's had some rest, and he's back on the field to try and turn this game around. He's on the heels of Ruff's banjo. Look at that puppy tenacity, and he forces a fumble. Kirby recovers, sprints downfield. He's at the 30. Touchdown. Wait, Taylor, is Kirby doing it again? I can't believe it. Another touchdown. Touchdown. That's the first double TD of the game. Kirby just rushed for over 200 yards on one play. With four touchdowns, Kirby is unstoppable on the gridiron. Look, Taylor, Fluff's Mr. Tinkles doesn't seem to be as excited. He looks like he's trying to hide behind that end zone pylon. Okay, Mr. Tinkles, that's a five inch penalty for wall flowering. Come on, join the team. Oh no, a frustrated Team Ruff scout has now stolen the ref's flag, and he's playing a game of keep away. What has gotten into these players? That's not the game ball. That's my flag. 
the ref is pleading with a disobedient scout right now, hoping to get this game back underway. But scout sidesteps his every move. Here we go, okay. All right, thank you. The ref finally has a hold of the flag, but Scout won't let it go. My oh my. And you can expect another penalty after this incident, folks. Okay, that's a personal foul, terrorizing the ref. My flag, okay? Game ball, go for it. Let's take a look back at the Puppy Bowl 19 red carpet, where our players arrived earlier today. Chickpea rolled into Puppy Bowl Stadium on her iron horse, and she is ready to go. She'll look to keep Team Fluff's paw on the gas when she takes the field in just a few moments. Here comes Mykonos Taylor. She's known to bring the party to the gridiron. Her debut is coming up. It appears Rosella wants to make sure she's well read on all the X's and O's before the big game. Gotta love that dedication. Button is looking to preserve every ounce of his precious energy. You know what they say, rest will bring out your best. Vivian is coming in hot for Puppy Bowl 19, and she doesn't need a wingman. Jimmy Kibble is looking to pass Puppy Bowl heroes for inspiration. MVP Marta from Puppy Bowl 9 sure was a legend. But Allison is getting in some last minute reps before the real workout begins. Steve Swole is the goal for the big game. But from the other side of the field, Fluff's pickle high steps and hurdles into the fray. He's locked up with Ruff's Emma on the 30. Now they're facing off in the red zone. Pickle better watch out. They're getting stricter on this kind of action. There's the call. That is a clear dog collar tackle on Emma. I know she's the opposing teammate, but you guys got to play clean, OK? Don't try to shush me. Ruff's Moo Cow was taking it all in from the sidelines. Hey, Moo Cow, since you're hanging out here, I need a little help. You got black and white. I got black and white. Um, would you just wear this for a moment? And if you see any infractions, would you just blow the whistle for me? What do you mean, no? I need all the help I can get. It's a zoo out there. And now they both have possession of the toy. Button tries to throw a block. They are barreling toward the end zone together. I've never seen this before. Touchdown! Let's go see the replay on that one. That looked like two dogs crossing the goal line with the same toy. It sure did, Taylor. Steve, could this be a puppy bowl first? A double touchdown? For the first time in 19 years, we need to consult the official Puppy League rulebook. Ah, uh, here we go, let's see. Double touchdown, page 319, article six, subsection two, states that because neither player establishes sole possession before crossing the goal line by rule, this is a double touchdown, and points must be awarded to both teams. Folks, for the first time in Puppy Bowl's 19-year history, we are headed to overtime. Let's go to referee Dan Schachner at midfield for the official coin toss. All right, team captains, there is a new overtime rule this year. What's that? A new rover time rule this year, thank you. Both teams will have an opportunity to possess the ball. Does not matter if one team scores first, the other team will still get a chance. Team Ruff, please make the call. Team Ruff has chosen Tails. It is Tails. Team Ruff, what do you decide? They have elected to receive. Team Ruff will receive the ball. Good luck, gentle pups. This one has turned into an instant classic right before our eyes, Taylor. And Team Ruff's Roland is on the field for the Tangerine Machine's first possession of overtime. Roland goes for the field goal. It's up and it's good. Team Ruff strikes first in OT. That's a field goal. Well, you see him stretching the leg before taking aim at the toy, and he sends that one into the stands. Vivian nonchalantly wanders over to the green toy at the 17, right under Ruff's radar. She grabs hold of it, she waits, 
Tom Barkey goes for the tackle, but Vivian reverses field, and she takes it to the house for the game-winning touchdown. Ladies and gentlemen, Bluff are repeat champions. Touchdown! What an ending to this historic matchup. Bluff sends superstar Vivian into the game. She plays decoy, patiently waits for the hole to open up, and secures the back-to-back -back victory for the Big Blue crew on that beautiful bootleg.